Hey everyone, it's Pearlescent Toys, back in today's video with another Marvel Legends action figure review, and today we're looking at Nightcrawler from X-Men 97. This is definitely a figure that I looked forward to pretty much more than any of the other figures in the wave. From what I know, or what I've been told, this figure has the pinless elbows and pinless knees, which is already like a step up from the, I want to say it was the Caliban Build-A-Figure wave? Nightcrawler, the one I have off to the side right here. So yeah, let's open this guy up and see how he compares to the previous version. But before I continue, here is the back of the box and the barcode. And here is Nightcrawler out of the packaging. I think the big question right here is, is it better than the uh, previous version of Nightcrawler, who I just so happen to have off to the side right here? Um, yeah, the two of them share very many similarities to the point where I don't think like an action figure showdown is truly necessary between these two. This one even has like its own like uniquely sculpted legs. Like th these lines are sculpted in for those boots that he's wearing or those shoes. But you can see on the older version, it does have Pizza Spider-Man legs, Pizza Spider-Man arms. Those legs and arms really are the only... Um, key differences that head sculpts of course everything else is relatively the same here's a look at that those legs first though man i love that musculature um it's kind of weird you know you get like this animated muscle tone and then you go up here and it's like more realistic mm, that's a little bit strange um i it's hardly noticeable though because man look at this piece right here just wow i love this body so much here are those gloves as well, and these are also sculpted. These lines, you know, differentiating, differ differentiating, differentiate. These lines that serve to tell the arm and the glove apart. <clears throat> and yeah, I love that animated musculature on the arms as well. And then we get up to the head sculpt, and yeah just uh pretty gnarly what the these paint apps are man uh it's kind of reminds me of do i have her off to the side sorry guys Ooh. it kind of reminds me of silk right here yeah you get like so much paint apps in the hair just all blue blue and over here it's even brighter blue yeah it's a match made in heaven look at them yeah this is a really big difference between this one and the last one is that this one has like the black covering up his face reminiscent of like some classic comic book art as this one also came with a head just like that yeah and i really love the digital face printing and i love that smirk right there showing his more playful side i don't know how i feel about the hair though the hair feels like it's a little too much oh this one had the blue detailing too that's cool but yeah these um also are different in the skin tone so this one is a much more uh br not a brighter but it's a kind of more mute uh compared to this one which is just bright blue and then like you can see it in the tails as well it's just different blues yeah it, it, again it's like give or take uh for these two like which skin uh, tone do you like more which one do you prefer honestly there isn't that big of a difference for there to be like any competition between the two it's like hardly noticeable to the naked eye oh and their hands are different too would you look at that hmm i'm impressed let me just um do this let me take you it's a uh, a real snug fit but here is that old head on the new body this looks phenomenal. You might have to like switch the tails though because it's, you know, a different skin color. Um, yeah, this looks just great. I mean, honestly, I just might buy a second one just so I can do all these like head swaps and stuff. Like this looks pretty great. Pretty good. It's a bit, it's a snug fit though. But speaking of head swaps, Let's jump into accessories, and the first accessory, of course, we get is that smirking head sculpt, and then you have this, like, sort of angry, uh, fearful, determined head sculpt. It looks fantastic. I think I might just leave this one on when I put him up for display. Yeah, I just love this head sculpt. 
He also comes with two open hands and two fists. Now for articulation, his head moves up this much, goes down that much. There is side-to-side movement and some p- tiny bit of pivot as well. His arm is able to move up a really good amount and is also able to move back this much and this far forward with the butterfly shoulder joint. He also has rotation with that joint and an upper bicep swivel, a double jointed elbow. It's a little tight. Might have to heat that up later. He also has a standard wrist peg going up, down, all the way around. He's able to bend this far back. Got! And this far forward. He has rotation at the waist, and his leg is able to kick out this far, go out to the side that much, go back this much. He has upper thigh rotation, a double jointed knee, and his foot is able to move this far down, this far up, and he has. Now, onto the size comparisons. Here he is next to the Caliban Wave Nightcrawler. Am I right? I don't know. Um, Yeah. If which one do I prefer between these two? It's kind of a tie for me, honestly. Cyclops and Executioner. Rogue and Gambit. Magneto and Bishop. Wolverine and Storm. Modular Iron Man and Cell Shaded Spider Man. Morbius and Gary the Stormtrooper. And finally, the Marvel Legends Spider Hams. Now it is time for my final rating and my overall thoughts. Um, I'm going to give him a final rating of 9 out of 10. Yeah, I think I'm good. Oh, 9, because he's German. <laughs> you get it? You get it? Yes, a 9 out of 10. I think this figure, like, the articulation is phenomenal. That's, like, worth mentioning alone. Um, However, the sculpt is also really great, and I love those new arms and legs. Those pinless joints look so fantastic, and the head sculpts are good as well. You know, I'm not a big fan of the haircut, but I'm I know a lot of you guys will be. So I, you know, it's good. Only criticism I have is I wish it came with like some Banff effects, like maybe like a purple like backdrop for him to put in the back. I don't know why I put my my fingers out. That was weird. But yeah, this figure, 9 out of 10. And that'll do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Anything you can do that'll support the channel will be greatly, greatly appreciated. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Hmm. Bye.